Hi guys, it's the last day of our excursion. It is July 30th, 2021, and we are going to embark on a few more shops. We have decided to pass up two shops because we, um, they opened, they opened at 10. <laughs> and so we're not wanting to wait around to 10 to get started. So we're at a shop that opens at nine and it's uh, 8.50 now. They say on the door that they're open, so we're gonna go check and see, but I do wanna show you all the outside of the building. So let me show you that. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was gonna say, good morning, <laughs> <laughs> tea quilters. Part of quilting it's a gamble place they've got notions batting threads and wide back so I don't know what else they got but we're gonna check them out and see what's going on at this gamel facility and we are in what area because West people might want to know Iowa. West Des Moines Iowa just in case somebody's looking for a gamble dealer West Des Moines Iowa bye guys Hey guys, we just left the Gamble Dealer. They mostly were selling like threads, which I don't need any of and don't have a thread list because I wasn't expecting to be at a Gamble Dealer. And then they also had like wide back, so I don't need any of that kind of stuff, especially at paying regular price when it's not needed today. But um, I did buy uh, some Gamble supplies like check springs, cone spring, encoder, O-rings, and um, I think a bobbin winder o-ring because i've never changed that so we're now at the quilt block which is a bernina sewing center store but we're not going to go in because they open at 10 and we want to go ahead and get down the road it's a 9 15 now so that's a long time for us to wait but i thought that i would just come show you their display window i have a feeling that i would really love this place too um i just think uh, Iowa has some pretty nifty quilt shops, and so I'll see if we can look in any. So you can kind of see there, but I have a feeling that I would have loved this place, and it looked like it's growing back, going back towards that way as well. So um, sorry that we're going to miss you guys, but we're going to go ahead and head down the road. So we are now at the Ben Franklin store which is also registered as being part of the shop hop they apparently have a quilting section i have not been in a ben franklin in years they used to sell fabric in the st louis area all of our stores closed except for those that were like in rural missouri that i'm aware of and i'm not even sure if they still sell fabric to this day so i'm gonna go in and check it out and let you all know Hi guys, I just wanted to let you know that we are at the Iowa Quilt Museum. We are outside. They do have a few display windows here. Just show them to you. They got quilt blocks up here. Pineapple quilt in there. And it's a little different. They've got, they did it a little different. You can see the connecting corners are sometimes diamonds, sometimes squares. I have never seen that before. You all see that? Sometimes it's a diamond in the sashing, and sometimes it's a square. It's not the most perfect, but that's unusual setting. I have never seen that before. More antique quilts over there. I'm not gonna take you all in, so I'm just showing you what's in the display windows here. And it looks like they've got also items that are for sale. So we're gonna go in, have a good time, and we'll let you see what's going we'll tell you about it when we come out so found out that we can do some um, we can record and take pictures here and I just want to give you a close-up of this quilt that's a community quilt let me 
put you on this information sheet and you can pause it. But the different levels of donorship for this community quilt is based on the piano keys and the stars as well as the spaces in here. So your larger donors are in here and they have embroidered blocks of replicas of their places. And uh, this is just gorgeous. You all know I love memory quilts. And I have just stood here. I love something like this that just says, we're all in this together. I love this, but just gorgeous. I know I'm not gonna get all the names up close, but just wanted you to see some of this. I will put here. So if you are in Winsett, Iowa, please, please come visit the quilt museum. They're gonna be different quilts hanging different times, of course. So if you ever need to read all the information, just go ahead and pause it. I'm not gonna do in depth of all of these because Kevin will kill me. We still got some shop hopping we want to do, but gorgeous works already, and we just got in here. Have you gone around already, mm -hmm. Kevin? No. Just beautiful. I love things that are different. Show you the texture on this. And my camera battery is already flashing. I wouldn't, I just put this in last night, but I recorded too, I forgot about that. Another one with a lot of texture. It's called Emergent Bee Flying Over Winter Fields. But look at all this texture. Just so much you can do with quilt making. Wow. Quilt wavering away. And again, anytime you need to pause the screen to continue reading, please do so. <laughs> Eye catcher. Wow. Do you see the face in this? Just beautiful. It's called Renewal 12. Lots of texture, surface um, applique of different types of threads. Here's the information. This is on your own, well day four on your own. It's also is kind of 3D-ish, got levels of applique. Let me get you the information here and let you see some of these different thicknesses on this piece here. And the quilting also plays a part in condensing and raising pieces as well, as well as the seams under some of the smaller sections. Very nice. Got some free quilting magazines here. This one here is called Silver Rain of Memories. Very nice. I'm gonna watch this video myself so I can take my time and look at these. I'm, we're trying to do this so we can get to the remaining shops we need to visit and get home because this is our travel day, but we just didn't want to miss the museum overall. Now I love this, I love. Okay, sorry guys, my battery ran out. I can't tell you if I, I think I did not tell you the name of this. It's Kaleidoscope XL1 Wheelhouse Rock. So, by Paula Naderstern. And I really like this, I was saying, I really like octagons, hectagons, and I love 
the fabric choice that she used to piece this. It's awesome, I love it. So very creative piecing here. I think this so far would be my favorite piece just because of the shape. I love that shape. What remains is next. Very nice too. Appliques on top for detail. Stitching on couching. And it's by Paula Sweat. The museum also provides chairs for you to sit if you having difficulty with that. This is called Daisy Eyes. And I can see the eye. <laughs> Pretty cool and creative. Wonder if that's a tulip pink fabric. Let's see. Doesn't really say. But here's the information. It's a fun quilt. This one's called Look to the Trees by Victoria Finley Wolf. I don't know what the, if there's like a particular show we're looking at here. I haven't checked that much yet. <laughs> Here's a quilt here that also, just straight line quilting. That's why I was telling you guys, sometimes you don't need all the fancy quilting. Just straight line quilting will do. This is just stitched up fabric. Look at that. One piece of fabric stitching all over it. That's it. And here's the information. It's called quilt drawing. I didn't see that before. Very nice. Have Serenity next. And this is that. It's also 3D-ish, you can't tell here. But when I come up here, you can see that these are 3D. You can't touch, but those are little flying geese made with looks like ribbon. Very nice. I'm going to be watching this video myself. <laughs> because I'm going through this pretty fast. Very colorful quilt here. Here we have tying up loose ends. Right here, just gorgeous. It's, um, I think it's all silk, I don't know. I think it's silk, but it's see-through. Very nice. Dreams by Teresa Barkley. <laughs> Just gorgeous. And I like that it's off centered. And the diagonal piecing of the background is awesome. Life begins at 40 is this quilt. And we'll walk back down to this. Well, we'll come back down this side. We'll go up to where Kevin is. They've got big area here. Anything good up here? They got a quote on the bed. <laughs> Welcome to the Iowa Quilters. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. They got a quilt on a bed that's, um, I'll get the information, but they says this 19th century walnut four poster bed is originally from the historic Belvington House, now located on the grounds of Madison County Historical Complex. We thank the Madison County Historical Society for loaning us this artifact. It was donated by Eileen Cohn. Beautiful quilt here. Love the colors. Love the quilting. Again, very simple quilting. This looked like Victoria Finley Wolf. 
or some quilting that Angela would do. So let's go see who made this quilt. <laughs> and was I right? It's called Incidental Noise, and it is by Victoria Finley Wolf. Made in 2021. I was right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't believe that. <laughs> and then they have a antique quilt that's on an old stretch frame. So this is interesting to see as well. Very nice. It's got a thing up here that says, what is a quilt? And it's got, you know, you can't read stuff when you have light on it, but it's telling you all the things about quilting. So that's pretty cool. Different ones all around the room talking about quilt tools, fabrics for quilts. Quilting and social class, quilting forums. So very in depth. They even got a little dial house over there. Probably got quilts in there too. Give you a quick look. And then I'm gonna do those quilts on the wall on the left and then we're gonna be exiting. Cause we've got so much to do. And we need to get home. <laughs> so this is a beautiful museum. Look like it's been newly rehabbed. That's where the money came from with the donation quilt, that red and white quilt that I showed you earlier. But it was money well spent. They got more quilting books gently used that they're free. I mean, they're just free. I think if I was to take something, I would most definitely do donation it was uh six dollars to enter which is very reasonable um look at this quote in this case two of them they're gorgeous too information on this kaleidoscope hardly hard to read through glass and then this one here is fly me to the moon by randy frost Got this quote on the wall called Nostalgia. Right here. This quote is Vacant Lot, Brooklyn Waterfront by Diana Robinson. Very nice. Just again, straight line quilting. This one here is uh, Flood Zones. Let's see if I can step back and get the whole thing in. Very nicely executed. It's got uh, different things, kinda in the water ponds. Medicine, water, money, emergency or energy food. Just nice. Again, I'm gonna have to go back and read this for myself. Next quote, New York, New York. <laughs> but they spell it different, it's really cute. It's got two sheets on this gorgeous quilt by Robin Swab. And then here's the second part. Another one of those see-through quilts by Ruth Marchese. Cheese vest. Very nice. And that's the shadow down here. The vest ends right there. That's just shadow of it. Here's your information. Sea change, I'll show you this one first and back up very nice i like this how it's opened up to and then continues the quilt <laughs> they've got the fish on piece of tool or something like that very nice 
And they might be two-sided too, I don't know. Like two layers of tool, I'm not sure. This one is Structured Chaos, number 23. Can't get the whole thing in here yet, hold on. There we go. <laughs> Very nicely done. Again, straight line quilting. Just haphazard straight line quilting too. Going both directions, kind of scribing. The surface is what I call it. Beth Carney. And then this one is Time is Money by Teresa Barkley. U.S. postage stamp, 24 cents. Well, that was a long time ago. <laughs> She got all kind of little details in here, time pieces. Yes, very nice. Here's your information. Oh, this is gorgeous. Portrait quilt on top of a traditional piece quilt. It's just awesome. Like Boston Commons or something. I don't know the name of this pattern but it kind of reminds me of that trip around the world type thing um, beautiful beautiful work here different quilting in the portrait part as compared to the quilting that's going on in a traditional piece part beautiful execution this is done by Rachel Dole called Charlotte And then our last quote is, I don't know how you say that, Eli Zakiotes by Rachel Dorr. She's very creative. And let me get you close up before I show you the information. I love, love, love her quilting for texture. She is gorgeous with this. Just awesome. And then the piece of information for that. So, I'm just going to end this video here. The lady was really nice. I'm not going to show any more in the lobby. We need to get on the road. And uh, I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Right down the street from the Iowa Quilt. Cool. Museum, we have Piecework Quilt Shop. So Ben Franklin, Iowa Quilt Museum, and this Piecework Quilt Shops is all within the same block of each other. So this is going pretty fast. And you can see this beautiful display case, maybe, through the glass. <laughs> and then they also have a display case over there. But we're gonna go in, no video, see you when I come out. Hey guys, we left the last quilt shop we were at in Winset. I forget the name of it now uh, because so much has gone on in that shop. It was huge. Nice people in there. One of the nicest people we have met on the show, although a lot of the shops have nice owners. Met somebody that's going to be in Missouri on Monday doing a um, presentation to a quilt guild. And I'm thinking about I might go to that. He's real, very creative as well. They also then took us on a special tour upstairs of their gallery and office area. It was just awesome. Uh, it was, we were there quite a while. So now we're at our next stop in Iowa Ona. I forget how it's pronounced. Um, Indiana. Uh, that might be it. I'm, I'm blocking. Kevin's on the phone, guys. <laughs> I'll try to put on the screen where we are. But we are at uh, Quality Time Quilts and Fabrics. So we're going to see if they're open. Quality Time Quilts. See on the... I just want to give you all okay. so the lights are on so I'm just waiting for Kevin to get off the phone so we'll see you when I come out so guys I'm doing a recap right outside the quilt shop here in Indianola and that place is gorgeous only been here 
just slightly less than a year, two more weeks, she'll be here a year. Open during, Open during the pandemic, has signed all the paperwork on March 1st and then COVID happened. So if you are in this area, want to do a day trip, you live in Indiana, even if you live in Missouri and you're right across, please, please come here. You will love this store. All kinds of things to purchase in here. Lovely brights, great panels. So please come. It was a beautiful shop. So <laughs> I'm impressed. Overwhelmed, but impressed. Uh, <laughs> Iowa has a lot to offer quilters. All quilters should retire to uh, Iowa. I Seriously, yes. all quilters. Yes, ma'am. So talk to you all later. Hi, we're at quilt shop number 30, we think, on our list. We've actually gone to two other ones close. Uh, we actually could be saying we're at 32. Here we just have a sign that says quilt shop with a, a nine patch block. So we're going to go in and see what's going on here. And then Lucas, that's in Lucas, Iowa. So we're not actually sure right now what the quilt shop name is. I know it's in the booklet, but we don't feel like pulling all of that out. So we're going to go in, get the name of the quilt shop, and then we'll do a recap. See you later. Hi guys, it is August 17th, about 4 o'clock a.m. And I'm up here editing because I still haven't gone to sleep yet. And I realized that I have not closed out our actual Iowa shop hop trip. And I just wanted to come on and thank the shop owners in Iowa. We did most of the southern shops in the state of Iowa. And uh, we had a great experience. Or We are most definitely looking forward to going back again. Uh, to visit some of those shops and uh, if you are able to do something like this I would highly recommend it I will have to say that four days and going to 32 quilt shops plus one quilt museum can be a little bit overwhelming and so um, we did have that and that was partially because the shops were so large and that they were they had great products and that you had a difficult time deciding what to buy and you wanted to buy it all <laughs> so uh, I know that they're trying to expand the all-state shop hops around the country so if it comes to your state or in any of your neighboring states I would highly recommend that you do that so I'm looking forward to the next trip that Kevin and I take you all stay safe be blessed and quilt out for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe share my channel with your other quilting friends and I'll see you in my next video bye bye quilters stay blessed